My name's Mike. I'm with the product development team at Bass Pro Shops. Uh, we're here this morning to give you a little insight into casting reels, specifically some of the cast control systems that'll help you be less frustrated when you're, uh, when you're using one of these. Number one, the first adjustment you use is the spool tension knob, and it's on the handle side of the reel. This isn't really high technology. Every bait cast reel made uh, has had one of these, but this just applies pressure to the spindle or the axle of the spool. When I uh, turn it to the left, it loosens tension like a jar lid, and when I crank it clockwise, it applies more pressure to that spindle. That's the first adjustment, and how I get that adjusted is I engage the spool, hit the spool release, and take my thumb off. And when you've got this adjusted to the right tension, uh, your lure will drop slowly to the ground, and when it stops, the spool will stop turning. If you've got it too loose, if I engage it and take my thumb off, and this keeps spinning after the lures hit, we've got this too loose, and you need to dial it back. Number two, on the other side of the reel, we've got a couple cast control systems. This is where the technology comes in. This is our dual braking system. We want to tighten these all the way down. Just I've tightened both of these dials all the way down. You always want to start your casting and your adjusting with that. The first thing you adjust on this side is this inner ring. This is the centrifugal brake. There are indicators on here from free and then one, two, and three hash marks. Three, of course, being the most pressure on the brake shoes. This comes in at the very first part of the cast when you've got really high RPMs going. These uh, shoes on the inside will kick out from centrifugal force and engage the raceway and uh, attempt to control the spool when it's running at really high RPMs. The third adjustment on here, the second of the dual braking systems, is the magnetic brake. And this is this outer ring. And this is numbered 0 through 10. 10 obviously being when you've got the most magnets engaged with the spool. And this, this takes over after your lure has reached the peak RPMs and is starting to slow down, it's getting ready to land. This is what senses, hey, the lure's slowing down and applies magnetic tension to your spool. So once you've adjusted all three of these to the particular lure you're throwing, you're gonna have far fewer backlashes. You're still gonna have to uh, educate your thumb a little bit, uh, but this makes life a lot easier. There's no reason why you should be afraid to, to pick up uh, one of these bait casters and uh, give it a shot. You're going to need to at some point. Now this dual braking system comes on uh, our top of the line reels like this Johnny Morris Carbon Light, uh, but we really encourage you to take this out. If you've cast other reels, uh, you'll find that this is a lot more sensitive, this system here. Uh, it's just really cool. I've been doing this for 40 plus years and this is just the most outrageous bait caster I've ever thrown. So we encourage you to uh, look for the dual braking system and uh, give it a shot.